mom's on hospice. I notice that her hands and feet are turning purple. I hadn't noticed that before, and that really scares me. I, it tells me something's going on. I guess I better call 911 because I don't know what's happening and I'm scared. Don't call 911. Call your hospice nurse. The wonderful thing about hospice is that when you're on a hospice program, their services, whether it's nurse, doctor, home health aide, social worker, chaplain, are available 24 seven. That's the wonderful thing about hospice is really you're not alone. You're as close as the phone to someone who can support and guide you. And in 99% of the cases, they're gonna come to your house and support you when you call their on-call number. That's the best thing about hospice, is you're not alone. If you call 911, their job is to fix the situation. And when a person is approaching the end of their life, there isn't any fixing of the physical body. What hospice does is support and guide the family and the person through this final experience. We are born, we experience, and we die. All of us are going to die at some point. And when my turn comes, I hope that it's a life-threatening illness so that I've got time to say goodbye to those that I love and care for. And I'm gonna have hospice because they're not only going to support me with pain management and symptom control, they're going to support and guide and really love my family through this really scary time for them. So when we're having a medical emergency, and I'm gonna put that in quotes because most of our medical emergencies aren't emergencies when end of life comes, but with a medical emergency in someone that can't be fixed, I do hope you're on hospice, and I do hope you pick up the phone, whether it's three in the morning or three in the afternoon, and you call your hospice and say, help me, I'm scared. I see this, this bluish color of the hands and feet, and I don't know what's happening. And they're going to support and guide you and probably come to the house. Now, I've said all that, I'm gonna qualify and say that in the actually week and for sure days before death comes, a person's hands and feet and knees and back get purple and bluish because the circulation is slowing down and that that's very normal and very natural.